Hey everyone, it's me again. Happy Halloween to you all. Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you all my entire TV collection of horrors, thrillers, and slash film slash TV shows. Yep. So there's gonna be so I'm gonna be showing all DVDs that relate to thriller, horror, and slash, which are revolved around t movies and TV shows. So yeah, these are all these I've got so far, and it may not be that many compared to what you guys probably have, but it's still quite a lot for my collection, and I'm not going to bother doing a video description of these sort of films and TV shows because I don't really have that many, and it'll be hard to get out, so as long as you're not worth my time redoing them, so I'll just show the DVDs for now. And yeah, so without ado, let's get started, shall we? So first of all, we have two copies of The Lost Boys in the exact same casing. Now, I've got two copies of it. One of them I brought myself, which is the first one, and the other one was basically brought my dad because he had some spare dudes that he was just giving away, so... You gave me a spare copy anyway, but I most likely will sold the spare copy anyway. But, um, yeah, so there's clearly no difference with both of these um, cases, but still. They do come in this little like cardboard case, which um, I'm not the biggest fan of because it's not really the easiest to open and it can be very hard. So, yeah, I'm not the fan of it, but yeah, it has it anyway. I most likely keep this copy as well because, you, as you can see, this copy's got a bit of wear in it, so it makes it a little bit brighter. This one's obviously more cleaner so you can see it better so I'll most likely keep this one and sell this copy so yeah anyway I'll open um, the disc yeah there's the disc right there and there's a little um, scene index there and um, I won't bother showing the disc in this one because it's basically just the same so yeah pretty cool that um, yeah I'll most likely spare, I'll sell the spare copy anyway next up we have seven this is a thriller um, released by Entertainment Video. Um, really good, this film, actually. Not the best, but it's still fun to watch. And um, my parents do own a VHS copy of it soon, which um, hopefully they might give to me if they ever you know, lose interest. But yeah, they've got a VHS copy of it, they have. And um, yeah. So yeah, it's quite a good film, though, nonetheless. It's worth watching if you haven't. Yeah, there's the disc right there. And here's a little um, leaflet, which, um, yeah, has a scene selection. Before that, right. Next DVD I have got is Cube. The walls are closing in. That's right. So this is, I believe, it's a horror. If not, it might be um, a slash. I don't know. But basically, the whole film is about them being trapped in like some sort of um um cube or box. I don't know. And they um they've experienced experiencing like bodies everywhere. Yeah, it's pretty brutal. Let's just say. But yeah, released by First Independent, um, originally released by Columbia TriStar on VHS, I think. I think I don't, I don't, this is from 1998, so it must be. Uh, yeah, I don't think I've watched this yet, but judging by the description, I think that's what this film basically is. But yeah, there's the disc right there, and once again, another um, scene selection. And as you can see, it's got the Irish 8, 18 certificate, despite the fact that DVDs are 15. Yeah, I'm not sure why DVDs do that, but they, they do it anyway, unless. Next DVD I've got is Scary Movie. This is the first Scary Movie film. Um, a absolutely great film, honestly. It's definitely worth watching it already. It's really funny as well. It's like a horror combined with a comedy. Honestly, it is so good. It's definitely worth watching if you haven't already. Uh, yeah. Released by Miramax Films and Dimension Films. It's also got a link to the Film Factory website. And um, yeah. Also from Brain of Vista. I mean, majority of these Miramax films are from Brain of Vista anyway. Yeah, there's the disc. It's also got widescreen. Yeah. Um, sorry, these are hard to get. I'll snatch the over and I'll do that later. Next up, we have Scary Movie 2. This is the sequel to the first Scary Movie film. Um, yeah, this is great, but not. I don't like it as much as the first one. Still, it's definitely worth watching. If you haven't. Uh, yeah. Same companies again. Yeah, not much difference at all. And yeah, there's a disc. It's got a red disc this time. And the uh, next DVD I've got is Scary Movie 3. Yep, this is the third Scary Movie film um, released um, from the same companies again, Miramax. And, and, but the only thing about this copy that actually makes it special compared to the first two Scary Movie films i just shown, um, this is a rental copy, as you can see. So it's quite a special copy, so it'll have, it'll most likely have some promos and stuff at the start, as well as some like, little guides, maybe. So yeah, this is, um, this is a rental copy, so it's quite a special copy. To have, yeah, these most most of these rental DVDs cost so much money on eBay nowadays. It's it's insane, but I think I got this from um, I think I got it from, see, 
Yeah, they got it from CX, yeah, so I was going to sneeze in. <laughs> yeah, there's the disc. It's got a mirror this time. Nothing special, but still, it's there. Um, next DVD I've got is um, Halloween 666. Uh, don't get confused with the um, <laughs> actual Halloween film that got released. But yeah, this this is called Halloween 666. Um, nothing much to say about it really, other than the fact that it's um, it's got the word Halloween 666 in it, which is yeah the devil's number. And um, yeah, I believe this is um, I don't know really. It is a horror film, I can I can tell, but it's clearly like a sort of creepy sort of horror film. Let's just say. So yeah, there's the disc. It hasn't got any companies released or anything anyway, so it must be like um, a promotional DVD or something, I'm not sure. I mean, some could probably think of it as a pirated DVD because of the way the cover looks, but I don't really think this is pirated. I think this is just how it was, how it was originally made. So, I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments since you guys are more experts on DVDs than I am. Anyway, next DVD I've got is one of my personal favourite films. Um, how a Razor, It Will Tear Your Soul Apart. Yeah, this is, um, in wide, this is a widescreen copy. Yeah, absolutely great horror film. Absolutely love it. It is quite grim, I know, but it's really, really fun to watch, in my opinion. It's honestly got a great plot to it. Um, great, you know, scenes and all that. Yeah, it's honestly a good film to watch. Um, released by Cinema Club. Actually, it's not. <laughs> it's actually released by VCI. That's right. If you watch this DVD, you'll see the VCI logo appear at the start of the DVD. There is no Cinema Club whatsoever. I think these DVDs are actually, um, you know, released by Cinema Club, but brought to VCI. So, um, yeah, a lot of these were. I'm pretty sure another DVD called um, The Santa Claus kind of had that feature as well. Maybe, I don't know. But yeah, there's the DVD right there. And um, yeah, there's a little scene next here. Yeah. Oh yeah, also the Rose and Jim um, Sticky Home DVD also released by Cinema Club that actually had VCR on it. So yeah. So yeah, that's that. Next DVD I've got is um, Jeepers Creepers. Terrifying, creepy and unpredictable. Yeah, with Jonathan Ross. Um, it says Evil is Behind You. This is a horror film released by Warner Brothers, I believe. No, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure it's Warner Brothers, yeah. Um, not watched this yet, but it does look quite interesting. It does feature Jonathan Ross, so I think I should definitely check this out since um, I know he does like his, um, his UK show that I've watched before in the past. Yeah. Oh, slip in the case. There's the disc, and once again, it's got the 18 knife to even though it's a 15. Still, what do you expect? Anyway, next DVD I've got is another one of my personal favourites of all time. Um, the Hull, that's right. This is a horror film released by M. Paffy. Um, I think it's um, filmed in the UK. An absolutely great horror film. Very underrated. It's definitely worth watching if you haven't already. Basically, it's about a film where, the um, I think, four like, schoolboys, you know, they go down to um, a little cell, little um, hole thingy where they just hang out and... Um, they basically, um, they act all like, I don't know, it's, it's hard to explain really, but it's definitely worth watching the admin, honestly. I did upload the Stone to TV, but I think I deleted it because it got blocked, um, copyright, but I'll try and see if I can do it again. I did, um, have a VHS version of this, but that was my parents' so I get back to them, so I just mainly borrowed it. But yeah. There's the disc. But yeah, definitely worth watching the already. I'm not sure if it's got a US release or not, but it's definitely in the UK, so if you're from the UK, it's definitely worth it. It's definitely worth getting. Next up we have is Resident Evil. That's right, a movie about Resident Evil. Yeah, it says it even if it dies. Um, this is also released by Paffy. Uh, not seen this before, but I might check it out one day. If it's not worth watching, I won't. But it is from Paffy, so I think I should definitely check it out. Because um, I know their film was pretty well. Uh, yeah. Um, it's from 2002, I think. And yeah, there's the disc right there. So yeah. Uh, next I've got is one of my personal favourite series is actually, I think this is the only um, horror series I've actually got to show, as the rest are just movies. Um, Happy Tree Friends, Volume 1, First Blood. Yeah, cute, cuddly and horribly gone wrong. Yeah, some of you may see this like it's a kid's show, it's clearly not. Because, as you can see, it's rated 12, and when you actually watch it, you'll see that all these cute animated characters actually get, you know, in, get killed and put into gore and stuff. So it's not as friendly as it looks. It's actually brutal. But it's really, really fun to watch. It's definitely worth checking out if you haven't already. Honestly, I'm not I'm pretty sure a lot of you have seen it before anyway. Yeah. Released by Revlet Entertainment and Mondo Media, combined with Studio Works. And yeah. It's got a load of episodes and some special features behind the scenes and stuff. Yeah. 
there's a disc and there's a little episode selection here and if you take this out I think there's a little picture of um, some yeah there's a picture of um, Cuddles, Giggles, Giggles and Toothy and Gore yeah yeah definitely worth watching you already there is a VHS copy of this as well which is quite rare I do own that but from Amazon but yeah next up I've got is the Nightmare on Elm Street Ultimate Collection Edition box set featuring um I think eight discs. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's eight discs. Um, this bit here was ripped, I know. Unfortunately, when I tried to rip the sticker off, um, it did some damage there. But, oh well. Yeah, I brought this from CEX, I think. Yeah. Um, it's got a look. Yeah, I believe it's on its seven. Yeah, seven movies inside. Yeah, released by Entertainment Video and Neon Cinema. What I don't get about these EIV DVDs is that they never freaking say the year these, these DVDs released. Like, they, they never list it. Like, I try and look carefully, they never really say. So, I don't know. If you know any way of figuring these out, let me know in the comments. And I can try and put them in a better order next time. But yeah, I never know when these are released. They never tell, never say. And um, here is a little um, booklet, I think this is. I think it's like a, a little description for each um, film. And yeah, this video may be longer than 15 minutes, but honestly, I don't mind. Freddy's dead, the final nightmare. I'm pretty sure that was made the same time as Jason Goes to Hell. Uh, yeah. Yeah, obviously, Jason and Freddy also came back in um, um, Freddy vs. Jason, obviously, which, I've, which I will show later on. Spoiler alert. Uh, yeah, here's a um, new nightmare. Um, the Final Nightmare, Freddy's Dead, um, Part 5, I'm sure it's all in backwards order, oh well, yeah, third, second, and of course the first, and if we take this out, there's um, an ad present for, um, yeah, them DVDs, but with the covers, yeah, all the covers that basically feature these original DVDs, yeah, right. I think I'll sort that out later. Next up we have is Freddy vs. Jason. Yep, I did say I had this and yet here we have got it. Even the killer has something to fear. I also showed this in my um, Friday the 30th DVD collection. The DVD collection, I'm going to check it out. It's uploaded. Uh, yeah, features two discs inside. Uh, one being the main feature and the other being the special features. And yep, here they are. Yep, this is also from EIV as well. EIV is basically a short way of saying ent entertainment and video. As I said, that was a very long title. Yeah, next up we've got is Happy Tree Friends, Second Severian. Yep, this is the second Happy Tree Friends DVD released um, from Studio Works and Mondo Media. Uh, yeah, quite a good DVD this. Uh, it's didn't release on VHS, I don't think. But um, it, uh, it does have um, some special features like the smoothies and stuff. And yeah, there's no there's no reference to this time. It's just um, Venture International instead. But, yeah. Yeah, there's the disc right there. We've got a little um, um, second spur in um, nutrition facts. And if we take this out, it's a picture of Lumpy getting burnt from the toaster. <laughs> yeah, it's really funny that. So, yeah, definitely worth getting. Uh, next up, we've got is Hellraiser 3 Hell on Earth um, from, Cl from Clive Barker. Yep, yeah, this is the third Hellraiser film. Uh, this is released by Anchor Bay. And you might think of this as a US DVD, it's not. Because, I mean, why would this 18 certificate literally be there if it's a US DVD? Yeah, this is UK. A UK DVD from Anchor Bay. Yeah, pretty odd that. But, uh, yeah. Um, it's released in 2004, I think. Approximately 93 minutes. Yeah, it's, this is a great film as well. I don't like it as much as the second or first one, but it's still worth watching if you haven't. It's honestly a great film. Yeah, I think this is the one where... Um, where... <laughs> Where Pinhead is basically going around throwing pins at loads of discs at um, people's heads, like he, like in that DJ set, I think the party. Yeah, he was throwing like discs and using them as frisbees. It was just crazy. Anyway, next up we have is Jaws, um, from I think it's from, from Steven Spielberg. Yeah, it must be. Yeah, this is Jaws. Um, a great film. This absolute classic. Honestly, if you haven't watched this film before, get out. <laughs> Honestly, this film is so popular and it's definitely worth watching if you haven't. It's a classic. Yeah, released by Universal, as to be expected. 
and it's released in, 2000, released in 2004. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's a Steven Spielberg. Yeah, it must be. Yeah, it says here. The same guy who um, who presented Land Before Time as well, I think. Yeah, there's the disc. And also American Tale. Anyway, next up we have is Happy Tree Friends Third Strike. That's right, this is the third Happy Tree Friends DVD. Um, shocking Tales of Unexpected Horror. And yeah, look at flipping the front cover. That's so creepy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, released by Mondo Media again, Studio Works and Venture International. Uh, yeah. It's got a really um, cool cover, back cover as well. So I'm um, drawn. I think it's how the menu looks as well. There's a disc. Um, no inside this time, but it does have this little um, leaflet inside. Yeah. No disc. I don't know if it says that. Yeah. And this case doesn't stay open very well, like it literally shuts. So, which causes the leaflets to literally be all scrunched, which is kind of annoying. But, oh well. Anyway, next DVD I've got is um, Happy Tree Friends Winter Break. That's right, this is a, um, a Christmas um, sort of Happy Tree Friends DVD, uh, released by Mondo Media as well. Um, this I've watched before, but I haven't watched it in a very, very long time. I did plan to make a reaction video to this whole DVD, so stay tuned. I'll make it for Christmas as well. So yeah, it's got the Ski Patrol, which I've also done a reaction to. It's got some carols and Happy Tree V. Yeah, it's got some um, little scenes as well. Yeah, there's the disc, um, some little information there. And if I take this out, it's a picture of Nutty getting strangled by the Christmas lights. Yeah. Next DVD I've got is Happy Tree Friends Overkill box set. That's right, this features four discs, so it features the first three Happy Tree DVDs with them um, a bonus disc called um, Overkill. Yeah. Some little um, information here, the Happy Tree logo, nothing at the top. Discs. I've shown these um, insides before, so I'm not going to show them again, but I'll show this one. This is the overkill disc here, which has um, yeah, the idle thing, um, squishing giggles. Back here, that's what it looks like. I can't. Oh, no, now this disc fell out. Uh. This box set's a pain. Pain the ass. There we go. Alright, next DVD I've got is 28 Days Later. That's right, from the director of Train Spotting and The Beach. That's right. This is a, this is one of these sort of films where basically like the country is like at its at its last I am legs, like where it breaks like end of the world. So it's like one of them sort of films, so quite like um Oh, it's that one film that I saw recently, I forget what it's called, but it's like it's like this sort of thing where these like things from space were taken over New York. I forget what it's called, but yeah, I recently watched it. It's awful. But yeah, this is um I think this is like some sort of um horror as well. And yeah, the, the basically there was, a, there was a virus around called Rage going around taking people's bodies and just basically killing them as well. Obviously it's a horrible film, but it can be entertaining now and then, but still it exists and yeah. There's it's also filmed in the UK as well. So this all happened in a city called London, I think. Yeah, it must be. Yeah, it's from 20th Century Fox as well, I forgot to mention. Yeah, 20th Century Fox. Next DVD I've got is Friday the 13th, um, the new remake, I think. Yeah, uh, Welcome to the Crystal Lake. Um, this is the extended cut version, so it shows the whole thing in one DVD. Um, released by Paramount. I mean, a good film this, not the best, but still. I'll, I'll definitely watch this remake over the um, new Bill & Ted film, which I'll see. Didn't actually get good reviews, let's just say. Yeah, there's a disc, got a plain grey disc, and it's got a leaf here. Yeah, it advertises all the other um, Fairy Fight DVDs, which is films part two to eight. Yeah. I don't actually own those yet, but I will try and get them soon if I can. They're not easy to get. But anyway, next DVD I've got is Happy Tree Friends, the complete season one four disc box set. Yeah, featuring um, the um, the complete series one from the TV series that aired on Comedy Central, as it says down here. And yeah, from Revel Entertainment at last, also from Studio Works and Modern Media. Uh, yeah, uh, not for kids. 
Um, oh. yeah. There's the um, four discs here, and this features um, a little foot. Now, I'm not going to bother showing the inside of this because it would take a lot of time. I think I did show my Happy Children's DVD collection if I'm going to check it out there. Yeah, just a lot of cats inside it. I'm not going to bother going through that. Uh, next DVD I've got is Scream 4. That's right, this is the fourth film about the um, Scream featuring um, the ghost face. Yeah, New Decade, New Rules. Uh, released by EIV. Um, yeah, good film this. I'll see, not the best, but still, it's, it's great to watch. It is sort of funny in a way. I do feel like I've seen that exact screen face before on a um, scary movie, I think. I don't know, I could be wrong, but I'm sure I saw it on there. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> yeah, it's something like that. Yeah, it's also from Dimension Films. I think that could explain it as well, because Dimension Films also made this today as a nice scary movie. Yeah, there's a disc. Yeah, next DVD I've got is Cult of Chucky. Um, which is um, a film featuring Chucky from the um, Child's Play movies. Uh, you may feel a little prick. <laughs> I'm sorry for the language, but obviously it does say prick there. Yeah, released by Universal. Um, I don't really mind these sort of films, but I don't like um, the female doll that got featured in the later Ch um, Child's Play films. Obviously, I don't like that, but I do think these films are good nonetheless, but I just don't like that other... Um, I, don't, I don't like that, that female that got featured... The female doll. I just find it really annoying. But yeah. Here's the disc right there. I think that last Child's Play film was probably the worst one, imagine. Me. Yeah, here's um, a little um, guide to um, watching the film on um, your phone and stuff. Yeah, pretty cool feature that. I don't know if it'll still work nowadays, but <laughs> I could try. Yeah, next up we have another box set. Ugh, get these over and with. Um, yeah, this is a Saw box set. This is a box set based off of the film's um, Saw. I think it features seven, if not eight discs. Yeah, it features... Um, yeah, I think eight discs, yeah, featuring Saw's one to Jigsaw. Yeah. These films are very, very grim, by the way. They are probably the most gruesome films I've seen any you know, film series have. But they are, they are worth watching nonetheless, but they're so freaking grim. It's basically like Happy Tree Friends, but real life, so live action. Honestly, they are absolutely gruesome. But they're, they're good to watch nonetheless, but still, they're, they're very, very grim. So if you do actually watch this film, you will be very, very prepared. Don't watch these while you're ill, because they're literally that gruesome. Yeah, it's from Lionsgate and Twisted Pictures. You see, Lionsgate make really good films, honestly. Some of my favourites they've made, like My Playing the Movie, um, The Hunger Games. Um, a few others I can think of, yeah, but they're mostly my favourite ones. Yeah, it's the first one. As you can see, it's got that new um, 18 certificate there as well. Uh, second one. Um, third one, Extreme Edition. Um, it's the fourth one, I think. Fifth one. Sixth one. Um, yeah, seventh, which is the final chapter. And Jigsaw. Get. Yeah. I'll sort the box it out later. Next up we have is now on to the really modern sort of horror films. So begin it off with Smile. Once you see it, it's too late. That's right. This horror film is really, really creepy. Like, um, basically I watched this film at a cinema one time on Halloween. Yet yeah, the exact Halloween date. And I was like, <laughs> after I saw it, I was basically at my, at my train station. It was very, very quiet. It was very, very dark. And I just thought, you know, the, these um, people were like randomly smiling at me. Like they'll be out of nowhere and they'll just kill me. Yeah, I just thought that was happening to me. Honestly. The film is so creepy when you watch it. Literally, I was outside in the train station in the dark alone. And I was just thinking, are those, are those people around me smiling? Honestly, it's so, it's so creepy. But it's definitely worth watching if you haven't. It's honestly a great horror film. Honestly, very good for a modern horror film as well. Um, Smile 2 is in cinemas at the moment as well. I'm going to see that tomorrow as I'm filming it. Honestly, I'm really excited. Because, yeah, I look forward to seeing that. Because, yeah, this one was really, really good. So, yeah. Released by Paramount as well. There's a disc. And it's a boring grey disc. Mm. Oh, well. Don't mind. So, yeah. Paramount makes some really good modern films, honestly. They're, they're really good. Whether they're horror or for kids. They're honestly really, really good films. Where the Paramount ones are. Yeah, next up we have is Five Nights at Freddy's. Uh, the Night Shift Edition. Can You Survive? Frighteningly fun. That's right. Now, 
All I can say is this film is great. It's definitely worth watching if you haven't. Yeah, that's all I can say, really. <laughs> Honestly, absolutely good film. Honestly, if you haven't watched it yet, you're missing out. Honestly, it's great. And if you haven't played Flight of before, again, you're missing out. I mean, I can see why some people don't like it, but I, I personally think it's great, and it's definitely worth watching. Oh, by the way, <laughs> no, I'm not going to sing it. It's too annoying. But yeah, it's just rated 15 as well, so you've got to be 15 over to watch it. This, I generally thought it would be rated 12, I thought it would be, but no, it's 15. So, yeah, makes sense as to what it would be. Never saw a cinema, unfortunately, never did, but I was, I'm, I'm kind of happy I've gone to TV anyway. But anyway, the last horror film to wrap this whole DVD collection up, and it's one of the most scariest films I think I've watched anywhere as well, and that is Thanksgiving. That's right, a new horror classic, yeah. And it is made by the same people who made Hostel, another um, terrifying snatch of horror films that I've seen before that generally scared the crap out of me. Yeah, this one scared me a lot more, actually. Basically, well, the thing is about this film is that um, there is a secret thing about these people, you know, getting prepared for, um, you know, um, Thanksgiving dinner. And basically the people who are Thanksgiving dinner are basically you know, the body parts of the food. Just a horrible film, honestly. And the fact that the chef was behind us the whole time as well makes it even more shocking. Honestly, it's, it's terrifying. It's, but it's definitely worth watching if you haven't, like I said, with most of these films. But still... Yeah, this is from TriStar and Spyglass uh, Media. Yeah, even though it's from these companies, it's not from Sony Pictures Entertainment. But yeah, it's from um, Evolution Sales. Yeah. But yeah, there's a disc right there. Yeah. And yeah, that concludes this um, a DVD collection of horrors, thrillers, and slash um, films and DVDs. No, movies and DVDs, sorry. No, movies and TV shows. I can't speak. Yeah, I'll just put all the box sets here. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you all for watching. Um, play subscribe, peace out, and think for yourselves.